the James Webb Space Telescope is once again flexing its muscles. As the most powerful space telescope ever built, it's homing in on the deepest secrets of the cosmos, while also providing us with spectacular images that reveal the universe's structures in unprecedented detail. Although these formations are often millions of light years away from Earth, Webb's razor-sharp images make them appear almost within reach. However, the first breathtaking snapshot in this discussion reveals that a technologically aided view of the stars can sometimes bring strange and unusual objects to light. To us, Webb may seem to have captured a glowing penguin and its egg floating in space, but if you ask an astronomer, they'll explain that the image shows the pair of galaxies ARP 142, which are about 326 million light years away and have been engaged in a close dance in space for quite some time. Located in the constellation of Aquila, the two galaxies have been merging for between 25 and 75 million years, a fate that is known to await our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy in a few billion years. However, in the case of ARP 142, we're not looking at two spiral galaxies, but rather an elliptical and an irregular galaxy. As the name suggests, the latter is known for having neither symmetry nor clear structure. What is clear, however, are the impressive tidal arms that the irregular galaxy NGC 2936 has formed as a result of its interaction with its partner, NGC 2937. There's a good reason why Webb's false color image in the near to mid infrared makes it appear as if NGC 2936 is throwing cosmic confetti around. The colossal gas and dust clouds are actually accompanied by a high rate of star formation, which significantly exceeds that of the Milky Way. In our home galaxy, about six to seven new stars come into existence each year. But in NGC 2936, as many as 200 new stars are born annually. Before this irregular penguin can embrace its elliptical egg, which consists mainly of older stars and significantly less dust and gas, a little patience is still required. The distance between the galactic pair is currently around 100,000 light years, which roughly corresponds to the diameter of the Milky Way. So, it will take several hundred million years before the two structures merge into a new galactic world. A combined view of the Pillars of Creation is another highlight. The photos of the breathtaking Pillars of Creation are not new in themselves. Hubble first captured this gigantic star forge on camera back in 1995. More precise images followed in 2007 and 2011, and Hubble returned to the structure in the Eagle Nebula, some 7,000 light years away, in 2015. Yet none of these images come close to those presented by Webb to the amazed public in 2022. Our new eye in space reveals every facet of the structure, even those that were completely invisible in previous images. The newly forming protostars present themselves as reddish balls at the ends of the pillars, while the curved, lava-like lines represent the rays that young stars regularly hurl at the surrounding cloud material. However, the new combined view of the Pillars of Creation, published by NASA just a few weeks ago, reminds us not to overlook Hubble's contributions. Webb's infrared data reveals the young stars and cool gases, while Hubble's images capture the glowing hot gas components of this stellar cradle in visible light. While Webb is best known for tracking down the most remote and thus oldest structures in the observable universe, it also occasionally turns its gaze towards our immediate planetary neighborhood. Just how novel a view of the familiar can be is demonstrated by fascinating images of Jupiter, which show the king of our planetary system in a light never seen before, literally. The human eye would not be able to perceive the details made visible by Webb. To remove our natural blinders, Webb's NIR cam captured the light reflected by the gas giant using three different filters. In this way, the infrared radiation from different wavelength ranges can be evaluated and displayed separately. Since infrared radiation is not visible, 
the corresponding wavelength ranges were translated into visible colors. Even the most experienced experts were deeply impressed by the overwhelming level of detail. Webb's images not only show well-known structures like the auroras and the Great Red Spot, but also delicate features like the ring system, which is usually only glimpsed, and the tiny moons Amalthea and Adrastea. In another milestone, Webb captured the first direct image of a super Jupiter in our cosmic neighborhood. Jupiter, with a diameter of no less than 140,000 kilometers, is the ultimate planet. Our Earth would fit inside it over 1,300 times. But if we look 12 light years further out at the star system Epsilon Indy, we find objects that dwarf even Jupiter. Epsilon Indy Ab, an exoplanet, has a mass six times greater than that of Jupiter and is the coldest and oldest exoplanet to be directly imaged so far. There are very few direct images of exoplanets to date, and most of those show young, hot gas giants visible in the infrared as relatively bright points of light. Moreover, most of the roughly 25 exoplanets captured directly are younger than 500 million years, with the majority being even younger than 100 million years. Epsilon Indy Ab, by contrast, is about 3.5 billion years old, offering researchers a chance to test models of planetary evolution and clarify questions about the late phases of exoplanets. Webb has also captured the remnants of a star's death. Supernovae are among the universe's most powerful spectacles. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it collapses and explodes in a violent farewell. The field of debris left after such a stellar death is now shown in stunning detail by Webb, thanks to a high-resolution near-infrared view of the supernova remnant Cassiopeia. This structure bears witness to an explosion that occurred around 340 years ago, and because it's relatively close to Earth, it's one of the most studied supernova remnants. While it has been previously examined by Hubble and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, Webb's NIR cam made the filaments left behind by the star's explosive demise visible for the first time. The inner shell of the structure, composed of sulfur, oxygen, neon, and argon, can be seen in bright orange and pale pink. Beyond the inner shell, a white smoke-like glow marks where the supernova shock wave interacts with the surrounding circumstellar material. Scientists believe this glow is the result of synchrotron radiation light emitted by charged particles spiraling around magnetic field lines at extreme speed. Additionally, the image shows a prospective supernova slumbering at the lower right edge of the image. Dubbed Baby Cass A, this glowing dust field was only heated by the shock wave long after the stellar explosion. Despite appearing close in the image, it is actually about 170 light years away from the supernova remnant. Webb's exploration of the Serpent's Nebula has also yielded new insights. By revealing new details in the nebula, located 1,300 light years away, Webb provided astronomers with a crucial clue to a special characteristic of young stars. The telescope detected a group of protostellar outflow jets in this young stellar nursery, gas jets that emanate from newborn stars and interact with surrounding gas and dust. Normally, these outflows point in different directions, but in this case, they all point in the same direction, from top left to bottom right. This supports the thesis that young stars tend to rotate in the same direction when their gaseous birthplaces collapse. This detail had previously gone unnoticed, because the flame-like structures appeared as blurred spots in earlier images or were completely invisible. Fortunately, Webb's high-resolution NIR cam can now penetrate cosmic dust and gas clouds, making the optical barriers of the past a thing of the past. And now you can make the times in which you haven't clicked subscribe a thing of the past as well. Press the like and subscribe buttons now so you never miss a new video from us again.